Yes. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And uh, we are back with a brand new maths game. Today's game is called Reverse Land Grab. Now, this game is going to be similar to one of the other games we shared, which is called the Paddock Game, but it's being played in reverse and it makes it a lot more challenging. Now, Nash has never seen the game before. To play, you will need two different colour pencils. Um, and some grid paper. Now we've got a laminated version that we can wipe off. If you don't have this, you can just print this off the internet. Now the size of the grid is really important and you'll see what I mean when we start playing. And now Nash, do you want to tell them how big is our grid? 10, 10 by 12. 10 by 12, okay? If you get a grid that's bigger and you want to go with 10 by 12, you can always cut it down to make it 10 by 12. The size is important. Now the other thing you need is a 20 sided dice. If you're a classroom teacher, you may have these in your classroom. If you're at home, you probably won't have them. If you don't have a 20 sided dice, any device you've got at all, you can use a random number generator. So you just type in random number generator into Google and then I make it go from one to 20 and just generate seven, 19, five, Nine. So that's the equivalent of rolling a 20-sided dice. But we've got a 20-sided dice, so we're going to use it today. Now, Nash, I'm guessing you're going to want me to go first, because yeah. you don't know what we're doing. Okay, so on my turn, I'm going to roll the dice. Now, I've got a 10. Now, this means that I need to create a rectangle on this grid that is a total of 10 squares. Okay. So, Nash, what would be my choices? What sort of rectangles could I do? Uh, two by five. Right? Yeah. Five by two, one, yeah. one, and one by ten. Yeah, or ten by one. So I'll do a five by two. So now you'll see I'll go two, one, two, three, four, five. And see how I'm kind of going inside the lines, Nashi? Yeah. Make that purple. And I'm going to write in here five times two and equals ten. And that is ten points for me. Okay. Okay, your turn, Nashi. Okay, now you can put it anywhere you want. I want to put it right next to Daddy. That's eight points for Nash. Now we're going to probably fast forward in a point in, in a second. Okay, so I've got a nine here. We won't fast forward straight away actually because I want to show you something. So a nine would be. I'm going to do three by three, and I'm going to put it in here. So, 3 times 3 equals 9. Your turn, Nash. Ooh, that's good, right? oh, yeah. Okay, so Nashy, you've got a 4. Where are you going to put it? I'm going to put it here. Ooh, okay. Baba? Yeah? Count the squares. Oh, 3. So, just right, we'll just rub out. No, I'm at this stage. That's, oh, that's okay. So one skill you need is you need to be able to count to four. <laughs> okay, <laughs> write it in there. Write in your equation. One times four. Okay, I've got a, wow. a 12. Can't do one times one, is Oh, yeah, I can do 1 times 12. I'm going to do it down here. Oh, a big one! Okay, your turn, Nash. Okay, so Nash, you got 16. Can I go 1, can I go 1, 2, can I do one, two, three, four? No, nah, so you can't overlap where I've got something. So it's no. got to be an empty space. So now it starts to get more challenging, doesn't it? Yeah. So where are you going to put your 16? Right here. What are you going to do? What sort of rectangle? Uh, square. Oh, interesting. One, two, three, four. By one, two, three, four. Like and so 16 is what sort of number, Nash? A square number. Beautiful. Okay. Write your equation in. Oh, yeah, we've got another square over there. I don't know. 
Yeah, and four is a square. I thought you didn't draw it as a square. Four times four equals sixteen. Yeah, okay. Now my turn. Eleven. Excellent. Now eleven is a really good one for us to talk about. Nashi, what are my choices with eleven? Um, one times eleven. Or? Eleven times one. So there's no other way that we can make 11. So Nash, do you remember what sort of number we would call 11? Uh, a prime number. It's a prime number. Now the other thing that's really interesting is, I actually don't think I can fit 11 on here. Because if you look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah. So it won't go there. There's nowhere for it to go across there. So I can't fit 11 on. I can't do it as a six with a five below it. It's got to be a proper rectangle. So that means, I lose my turn. Seven. Now, what set? What sort of number is seven? Prime number. It's also a prime but number. But I can do something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Yeah, so you're going to put it in the middle then. Yeah. All right. Make that right here. One, two. Now, in terms of when you finish, I, I think the best way to play this game is once you've had three passes in a row, you need to finish. So, as the board starts shrinking, three passes in a row, that would be the end of the game. So, 12. Oh, um, I but, just blocked your 12. Yeah, I can't do 12. So, that's one pass. Over to you now. Eight. Eight. One, two. No, I can't fit it there because seven's the most. Pass. Okay, back over to me. So if this is a pass, it's game over. 16. Pass. Mm, yep. So now that the game has finished, I'm going to be adding up my purple numbers. You're going to be adding up your orange numbers. person with the most uh, squares occupied is the winner. So Nashi, this is a good chance to do some mental maths. Now remember, you don't need to add them up in order. So you yeah. should be looking. Okay. These two. Beautiful. So you're going to start through those two. 30. 30 then 38. 42. 48. Oh, 48. Is that every So hold on. So maybe do this. Why don't we tick them as you go? So yeah. that and that gives you 30. 30. Then that gives me 38. Then that gives me 40. That gives me 44. Um, that gives me four. That gives me fifty. Wait. Oh, no, that gives me forty-eight. And that gives me forty-eight plus fifty-five. So you write the fifty-five over there. Fifty. Five. To thirty. So, so Nashi, you and would be the winner. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye. Bye bye.